Hello, I am Sir Kim, your math teacher. Are you ready for this week's lesson? Before we start, here are some reminders. I-ready ang iyong ball pen, pad paper, at module. Basahin at unawain mabuti ang mga instructions sa bawat learning task. Iwasang magusot, madumihan, mapunit, at higit sa lahat, ang mawala ang iyong module. Magpagabay lamang kay mami, daddy, ate, kuya, o kung sino pa mang nakakaranda sa iyo. Ikaw pa rin dapat ang sasagot sa bawat learning task. Huwag kalimutang isulat ang iyong pangalan, section, pati na rin ang learning task number na sinasagutan mo. Pwedeng ipos ang video para mas mabasa o maunawaan mo ang instructions. Kung may tanong, gaya nga ng sabi ng lola ni Cardo, huwag mahihiyang magtanong. Last week, pinag-aralan natin yung estimating quotient at problem solving involving division. This week, meron ulit tayong dalawang lessons. Unahin natin yung solving problems involving division and any other operations of whole number. After this lesson, you're expected to solve multi-step, routine, and non-routine problems involving division and any other operations of whole number. Sa multi-step word problem, meron tayong two or more operations na ginagamit. Dapat masolve natin ito sa tamang order para tama din ang sagot. Para mas maintindihan natin, let us look at this problem na makikita sa page 34. Leo bought four t-shirts and two pairs of pants for 3,000 pesos. If the t-shirts cost 300 pesos each, find the cost of each pair of pants. Sasagutin lang natin itong six questions na ito. Para sa una nating question, what is asked? How much does each pair of pants cost? Second question, what are the given? 3,000 pesos for 4 t-shirts and 2 pair of pants and 300 pesos each shirt. What operation will be used? Meron tayong tatlong operation. Multiplication, subtraction, and division. Question number 4. What is the hidden question? The amount of pair of pants. Question number 5. What is the number sentence? 3,000 minus open parenthesis 300 times 4 close parenthesis divided by 2 equals n. Next step is to solve. Imumultiply muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 300 times 4 is equal to 1,200. Next, isasubtract natin yung 1,200 sa 3,000. 3,000 Minus 1,200 is equal to 1,800. And last step, i-divide natin ang 1,800 sa 2. 1,800 divided by 2 is equal to 9. So, each pair of pants cost 900 pesos. Learning task 2 na makikita sa page 34. Solve the following problem. Write your answers on your paper. Write your solutions also. Next, learning task 3 sa page 34 pa din. Solve the following problems. Write your answers and your solutions on your paper. Ang mga steps involving multi-step routine problem ay Una, understand. Know what is asked and what are the given. Next, plan, know, the operation to be used, and know the hidden questions. Write the number sentence. Next, is to solve. Decide the operation to be used to find the answer to the hidden question. Tapos, solve for the answer. And last, check and look back. Review and check your answer. Last learning task for this lesson. 
na makikita sa page 35. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter on your paper. Para sa ating second lesson na Multiplication, Division, Addition, Subtraction o mas kilala sa tawag na MDAS. At the end of this lesson, you're expected to perform a series of two or more operations applying MDAS correctly. Para sa ating unang learning task na makikita sa page 36, Perform the four fundamental operations independently. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write it on your paper. Para sa number 1, 8 plus 96 divided by 2. Ang sagot natin ay letter A. Sa ating lesson ngayon, gagamitin natin ang MDAS rule. Start tayo lagi sa left, papunta sa right. Tignan natin itong first example. 2 times 3 plus 20. Since MDAS tayo, uunahin natin ng multiplication, division, addition, tapos subtraction. 2 times 3 is 6. Since wala tayong division, next na tayo, addition naman. Ibababa lang natin yung 20. 6 plus 20. Ang sagot natin ay 26. So, ang sagot sa 2 times 3 plus 20 is 26. Next example. 24 divided by 2 plus 13 minus 6. Wala tayong multiplication, kaya division ang uunahin natin. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Next naman natin ay addition. 12 plus 13 is 25. Last natin ay subtraction. 25 minus 6 is 9. So, ang sagot natin sa 24 divided by 2 plus 13 minus 16 is 9. Una nating hahanapin ay multiplication or division. O kung ano man ang mauna sa kanila from left to right. Next naman ay add or subtract. Kung ano din ang mauna sa kanila from left to right. Learning task number 2 sa page 37. Try to solve the following using MDAS. For example, 4 plus 8 divided by 2 minus 7. Since MDAS tayo at walang multiplication, unahin natin yung division. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Next, 4 plus 4. 8. Last naman is subtraction. 8 minus 7. So, ang sagot natin sa equation na ito ay 1. Learning task number 3 sa page 37. Solve the following equation, then compare your answers by writing less than, greater than, and equal on your paper. So, isosolve muna natin siya bago i-compare. Example, 5 plus 8 divided by 2 minus 7. Unahin natin yung division. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then next, addition. 5 plus 4 is 9. Last naman is yung subtraction. 9 minus 7 is 2. So ang sagot natin sa left side ay 2. Yung sa right side naman, 26 divided by 13 times 10 minus 17. Division muna tayo since siya yung nauna sa left. 26 divided by 13 is 2. Next naman is multiplication. 2 times 10 is 20. Last naman, subtraction. 20 minus 17 is 3. So ang sagot natin ay 3. Now, pwede natin siya i-compare. Ang magiging sagot natin ay less than. So ang sagot natin ay 2 is less than 3. Ang rule natin sa MDAS ay Multiplication, Division, Addition, tapos Subtraction. Multiply or divide kung anong mauuna from left to right. Tapos add or subtract kung ano din ang mauuna from left to right. 
or final learning task na makikita sa page 37, solve the following equation. Sana yung tutunan ninyo kung paano mag-solve ng word problems involving division and any other operation at MDAS. Kung may tanong, huwag kayo mahihiya. See you next week!